and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at OS command injections. In this section, we'll explain what an OS command injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are OS command injections? An OS command injection is a vulnerability that allows arbitrary commands to be executed on the operating system of the application. What causes an OS command injection? This vulnerability can happen when user-controlled input through parameters, cookies, HTTP headers, etc. are passed to the system shell without any prior validation. To understand OS command injections, let's look at an example of an application with this vulnerability. Here, a get parameter file to delete is passed to the system shell without prior validation. An attacker edits the URL to craft a new malicious URL. He appends a shell command to the parameter value of a request, like so. The application appends the get parameter to the command string and the malicious command is executed. In this example, all the web application files are deleted. The web application becomes unavailable. As you can imagine, an OS command injection could have major impacts Injected commands will be run with the privileges of the vulnerable application. So, for example, user passwords or other sensitive data could be displayed on the application output. Customer data could get exposed, leading to privacy issues and a damaged reputation. Commands executed as the application owner could lead to repudiation issues. Files or database records could be manipulated or deleted, and services could even be started or stopped. In a worst-case scenario, all the files of your application could be deleted, denying service and causing reputation loss and financial damages. To prevent OS command injections, use framework-specific API calls instead of OS commands. If this is not possible, you should validate all user-controlled output against a whitelist before passing it to the shell. This validation should include POST and GET parameters, cookies, and other HTTP headers. And finally, always apply the principle of least privilege to the application. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, OS Command Injections.